What is going on guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new Vegas 18 tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you guys exactly the ultimate 2021 color grading guide because if you're going to apply a lot filters on your videos, there are a couple things that you guys need to, you know, keep in mind of to avoid compression, to avoid colors blending together and that it looks unnatural. So of course, the new year is here and that basically means that if you want to grade our videos a little bit better, we want to use LUT filters and we want to like even use like the color grading panel in Vegas Pro 18 and just use, you know, different kinds of color styles instead of just uploading your files into your project and start editing or cutting straight away. There's always like some brightness and contrast involved and even a little bit of color grading. So I'm going to show you guys exactly how to properly use these LUTs and even use multiple LUT filters over each other and also to just to avoid compression behind you or any on any color that you have. So how this video is going to work is we're going to do this in two sections. So on this camera on my GH5, I have a setting called VLOG, meaning that we will go from this look to this look. So this is how I originally shot it. And that's how I graded that you guys will see that of course, right after the intro. So if you guys don't have, for example, a vlog setting, or if it's going to shoot in like a really, really high contrast by its own, you guys can just downgrade your, you know, your brightness and your saturation just to export it, for example, in that way. And then you can start color grading, right? Like I do it because if I look in the viewfinder, it's looking really, really plain. But of course, you guys are looking right now at the gray footage so this is of course what i started with and this is how it will end up looking it's going to be really really cool you won't lose any quality so if you guys are excited for this video and if you want to learn how to color grade properly in 2021 make sure you to hit the like button down below subscribe if you're here for the very first time watching i would say let's get started color grading right after the intro All right, guys, so now that we are in Vegas Pro 18, as you can see right now, I have a little clip from last week's recording when I was doing a GH5 test. Now, I'm going to use this clip actually to color grade this one. I actually film all my videos in Vlog because it's a lot easier just to start off from scratch because if it's already graded, like I said in the intro, it's really, really hard just to you know go ahead and actually grade this clip. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to just use this clip in my timeline and we're not gonna do any effects on it right now. Right now but before we're going to use our videos and we're going to even start on actually cutting not even grading we're going to right click on the video and we're going to hit properties and we're going to hit disable resample because that will actually avoid frames blending together all right guys so now that we've done that what are we actually looking for when it comes to color grading do we only want to bring up the saturation a little bit and like bring up the colors and the contrast do we want to have like this cinematic look to it a little bit more of like this blue metallic or kind of green you know like filter onto it so the first thing that i would always do is before I start even applying a lot filters on it, I would always go and click on the video effects. We're going to go to the color corrector and we're going to pick the secondary one and we're going to drag the default on top of the clip. Now it's going to bring up this menu. So I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. So as you guys can see, so right now right here, we have a couple sliders. Now we don't want to touch the rotation hue. Otherwise we will become looking like an alien, but the slider that we're going to use in this menu is a saturation. So if I drag this one up, as you notice what happens to the colors, it actually looks a lot, a a lot better. Now, of course, if you want to have it a little bit more stronger, you would usually think that you would apply brightness and contrast onto it, but that's actually what you can actually replace with a LUT filter. So if I click out this menu, so the colors are actually a little bit more amplified, we're gonna go to the L where it says a LUT filter. And now we're gonna drag on the default on top of this clip. And now we can actually browse through this menu, like what kind of filter do we want to use? So right now I'm gonna go, for example, and start off with number one. Now this one makes it a lot darker. Of course, you can bring down the strength if you want to like this. And you can, for example, like put it up a quarter, but it's only making it a little bit darker. So I'm going to just move on to the next one. Let's see which one is actually looking. They're all looking pretty decent, but they're making stuff way too dark. So we have to work a little bit more with the brightness in just a second. So I think, you know, when, you'll, when it comes to like having a final touch, this one would actually be nice. The purple one or like a little bit more of a warmer shot like here with a little bit more brightness. That's what I would apply on it. So I'm going to just, for example, let's see if I browse through. I think this one looks very, very nice, but let's drag down the strength just a little bit. Let's just put it up just a little more. That's not too dark. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the video effects tab and we're going to go to brightness and contrast and we're going to drag on the default. And what we're going to do is we're going to drag up the brightness just a little bit. And then we're going to also increase the contrast 
quite a bit actually like that as you can see so the cool thing is that you can also you know mess with the the blackness of the shot so if you're going to close out this one you can also mess with the color curves if you click on this one right here if you drag on the default if i take up this point right here if i just you know bring it for example down or upwards that's how you can also adjust the shot and you can just really really grade it but of course the higher you're going to bring it up the more noise you will get as you notice on my shirt at the bottom so it's very important that you will also for example preview this on an external monitor or just somewhere to make it really really big because on small monitors and if your monitor is for example on a dark brightness you will be less likely to notice any compression so what i would recommend is just to use a second monitor or just make your preview screen just really really big for just a quick second just to grade it if you don't have two monitors and you only have one just to make sure that you will avoid any kind of compression that's on your screen but of course what i want to make sure is that you always film on the proper iso and the iso is basically you can compare it to the brightness like you can you know set it for example to 600 800 or 1600 you have to be careful with the iso because if you're going to crank it up all the way you will see a lot more noise so if you're going to apply for example brightness and contrast to it right here i'm going to drag down the contrast just a little bit because i basically want to have the lut filter to fill in the contrast so if i just move around these lut filters as you can see right here and if i disable all the different ones and all the remaining ones right here for example this purple looks really really nice so let's go and click on the color curves and make sure that we will have everything perfectly. Then we're going to move on to the hue and the saturation. So if I do it like this, that looks really, really nice. And that there is no actual compression going on that is onto the screen. So this is, of course, one way how you can color grade your videos properly. But the second way is I'm going to just undo all the effects for a second. So I'm going to uncheck the brightness, the lot filters and the color grading. So it looks back to the standard vlog. So this is, of course, a standard filter that we have in our camera how it's shot so the next thing that you can do is you can go click on alt on your keyboard and hold it and you want to press g that's going to bring up this color panel right here so on the very left we have the lift we have the gamma the gain and the offset now the lift if you're going to drag that one up that's going to do a really really intense effect so you don't want to touch it too much or even touch it at all so i'm just going to click on this icon so you can revert it but i would also bring up the gamma just a little bit more into the blue side of things maybe a little bit of purple guys of course it depends so much on what you like to have like as a final result and i think this clip would be really really nice just with a little bit of touch of a blue and a little bit touch of orange because of course the light behind me is blue and the guitars like on the on the back of them it's orange so the only thing i'm going to apply on this very clip it depends from clip to clip of course but if you're going to drag on a little bit more brightness and contrast so i'm going to drag on the contrast quite a bit as you notice and also just the brightness just the tiniest amount all right guys so i just messed a little bit more with the gain at the bottom this slider that you can bring up and down so i think this shot looks very very good now what do we actually need to know when we want to avoid compression so let's say that you have one lut filter and that makes it quite green or quite blue you want to apply like multiple you know lut filters on it so how do you do that so the next thing is we're going to go back to the lut filter menu which is right here let me check where the l is right here so we're going to drag on the default onto it again so now we can just drag on our second lut filter and that is where the compression usually starts now what i mean with compression is just it's not looking smooth anymore like a nice fade in colors and that that's what you can notice right here on the wall like right here it's darker blue and then we have this little crooked line that makes it into the lighter blue and that's basically the compression that you want to go and avoid so how you avoid compression is basically not having too many of these color curves going on because even the noise can also you know trigger the compression just a little bit so what you need to do is you need to also also make sure that you will put down the strength of the second lot filter and even the third one if you're going to use multiple ones because you want to have this really really lightly they only have to be just a touch not like an entire you know new color grading this is not any kind of compression this is just you know the shadow from this lp where the light was on how you can avoid that is you can just lift up this little lamp that's sitting on this you know dresser just a little bit higher so the shadows are you know blocked out but what you can do is you can just bring up the strength just a little bit to have it a little more of a cinematic touch to it and if it just becomes too dark you can just go to the brightness and contrast and you can take out a little bit more of, of the contrast and just take it out and mess with a little bit more with these markers because it's actually very very important that you just want to don't use any compression because the problem is that if you're going to use color grading you want to improve your entire frame and you not want to make it worse with like pixels or anything like that or like really weird shapes or you know of these particles and this is basically how i would grade this shot now the second thing i want to mention is how do you get actually this 
V-Log style. Now I'm going to show you guys exactly how to accomplish that effect. So the thing that you need to do is you need to drag in a clip that's already shot with, you know, which is already pretty saturated. All right, guys. So what I did is I just inserted a photo real quick because I can't really find any clips that are not in uh, V-Log because I never really filmed anything outside of V-Log, but just a few more tests that I did when I got the camera weeks ago that I didn't even keep. How do you actually accomplish this effect? Now, the first thing that we need to do is right here, this is a really nice graded saturated clip or a photo. So how we're going to fix that is we're going to go to brightness and contrast and we're going to bring up the brightness and then we're going to go to the color corrector secondary and we're going to click default and we're going to pick saturation and we're going to drag this one all the way backwards so that it's almost black and white. Now, if I go and compare these two clips right now, if I disable all the color grading effects onto this clip, you guys can actually compare it, for example, to a color grading clip that you, for example, found on you know Google or something like that, that is like a v in V-Log and just really, really plain. So if I put this one against each other, I can use my arrow keys just to go and actually see like the difference. So what I noticed right off the bat is that there is way too much contrast in this image as well. So I'm just going to drag out the contrast as well, just a little more and also drag down the brightness. So right now, this is actually the pretty much the closest that you can get just to take out a lot of saturation take out a little bit of brightness and quite a bit of contrast and that's how you can then for example export this clip in the most high settings that you filmed this clip in re-import that clip into vegas pro and then start grading just like i did a minute ago and guys by the way if you want to approve your videos and if you want to get more you know of these cool transitions and like 3d models and everything like that i highly recommend check out production crate they've been really really great to the channel for the past two years i've been using many different transitions sound effects everything like that so check this out are you a content creator looking for effects to improve your videos in 2021 welcome to production crate Production Crate is the resource for graphics, visual effects, music, and much more. On top of that, these assets are compatible with your editing software. Get your unlimited free effects today or premium effects for only $49 a year. Make it awesome. So make sure to go and check out the link down in the description, guys, if you want to pick up your subscription. And I want to basically clear up a little bit more of confusion about the, the, the production crate services. What I basically mean is that they have free effects and they also have premium effects. So the free effects are just, you just sign up for an account completely for free and you can start downloading, guys. You don't need to pay these $49 a year, like it said. But if you want to have premium effects, you know, more resolutions, for example, like 4K footage, I highly recommend to check out this membership, guys, because it's only four dollars a month this is basically the ultimate color grading guide for 2021 starting from vlog because of course if you're going to use clips that are already graded applying enough filters is only going to make it worse if you're going to apply quite a bit of strength on it so this is basically how you properly color grade in 2021 if you guys have any questions guys make sure to let me know down in the comments i'll try to cover as many as i can and that's basically it all right guys so that's it for this video that's all i have for you guys today this is the ultimate color grading guide this is how you you properly grade your clips if they're looking really really plain such as that vlog setting in your camera and the vlog is actually invented just to insert that one into your camera as an external mode that you can apply so you will start off with like less saturation and all that because like main cameras already have quite a bit of contrast to it and if you're going to apply load filters on top of that it's going to make it worse it's going to make it sound compressed and like a really really high saturated and basically oversaturated so if you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see more of these color grading tutorials make sure to reward with a, a like down below that's all for you guys today thanks a lot for your continued support and i'll see you guys obviously in the next video